Hello, I'm Andy Renison, the new interim CCTV regulator. I am sorry I can't be with you in person today, but I am pleased to at least be able to show my face and to share with you some of my early views and ideas on the standards and regulation we need for contemporary CCTV. I arrive in this role wearing two hats. I remain as the forensic science regulator, a job I have been doing for two years to build a quality standards framework for forensic science. It was my experience in that role that led Home Office Ministers to ask me to extend into the CCTV context. I am pleased to do so and from the outset recognise that the two roles meet at the point where CCTV images enter the police investigation process. The recovery, analysis, enhancement and use of CCTV images for crime investigations and for prosecutions is a forensic process and has to comply with basic forensic rules to protect the integrity of the intelligence and evidence. It is not a science in the sense that DNA technology uses leading edge biology and chemistry methods, but is nevertheless an important and exacting forensic discipline. Let's face it, the single leading objective of most CCTV systems is to produce images to facilitate improved security, reduce crime and protect the public. Also to increase confidence in the police and create safe environments. There has to be a process for the use of CCTV images that meets the needs of the criminal justice processes. The two are interdependent. Details of my role and how I will achieve the objectives set by ministers will be published shortly. Or may, by the time you see this, have been published on the CCTV strategy website. Suffice to say that I have a few key pieces of work. Firstly, to design a modern standards framework that guide us all in the responsible use of CCTV. Then to advise Parliament on a new regulatory framework that delivers modern standards and regulation to meet the public interest. Also to help build a complaints process so that people who wish to complain about misuse of CCTV cameras and systems can, and to help inform the public on how modern CCTV systems should be used and the benefits that that can bring. I do not pretend to know or understand your world. I am not a CCTV expert. I was a policeman for 30 years and latterly a regulator. I do though understand the criminal justice system and policing and crime and disorder reduction partnerships. I understand basic security issues and have some understanding of modern digital technology. In my forensic work, I use domain experts to advise and guide me and I consult widely. I will do the same with the CCTV work. But I have to move fast. I have been given 12 months to come up with final recommendations to ministers and in that time I have to comply with Cabinet Office rules on public consultation. In other words, I am expected to consult experts, draft and publish detailed reports and then allow for 12 weeks consultation periods. If we fit in consideration of the work by ministers, I basically have until the end of July to have the first phases of the work completed. The public, the police, the courts and the government very much support the responsible use of CCTV. The widespread use of public and private CCTV systems is driven by public and political demand. Also by businesses who recognise the powerful impact CCTV can have on helping them to secure their property and protect their customers. The users of CCTV now, and rightly so in my view, need to take stock and to cast an eye on the new digital technology that is rapidly modernising our CCTV systems and taking us into a new world of detail and clarity. We have to make sure that we can retain public and political support in this new world and we can only do that by demonstrating that CCTV systems are used responsibly and with genuine purpose in the public interest. I want to build standards and regulatory frameworks that facilitate this without creating a bureaucratic web around our use of CCTV. It is possible to do so. I am already seeing examples that show this to be the case. The first important job is to establish some broad principles that set our goals and govern the standards and regulation model that we devise. This is an approach known as principles-based regulation. It is common around the world and is emerging in other countries as the best way to manage CCTV regulation. I will shortly publish my work plan and my first thoughts on the principles to be adopted and will invite your comments. I very much look forward to undertaking this work and to meeting you in person during the journey. 
Thank you for your time and hope you enjoy your conference or your meeting or wherever you're gathering today. Thank you again.